assembled in one room since Monday. <laughs> These are the best comedians Central Jersey has to offer. Matter of fact, give it up for a room of people who will never get paid to do comedy. <laughs> Led, of course, by our comedy dad, Angelo Gingerelli. He gets visitation on Mondays. You might recognize Angelo as one of the background skinheads in American History X. But Mr. Fifth Round is a really nice guy. Beautiful life, smoking hot wife. Keep her away from me, I will try to fuck her. <laughs> Dan Caprio, the Roastmaster. Dan Caprio actually comes from a long line of cab drivers. He said, fuck the family business. He's currently driving for Lyft. <laughs> Dan Caprio is part Italian, part vampire. I've been through his entire Facebook. He hasn't aged a day, and it's getting suspicious. <laughs> I know he looks young, but he's pushing 200. <laughs> he famously got turned down for the role of Shooter McGavin, but what a lot of people don't know is that he was also turned down for the role of Edward in the Twilight series for being, quote, too realistic. <laughs> Jeff Smith Jr. is here. True story, as a kid, he used to get his ass kicked by my friends. <laughs> now he only catches a beating from his ex-wife's divorce attorney. <laughs> Speaking of divorcees, Kyle Groom is here. Where is Kyle? Kyle! I have something for you, actually. I printed out my divorce lawyer's information, and here's the thing. Prenups only are 700, but a divorce starts at 5,000. You'll thank me later. Matt Nesimeno is here. He's the only white man I know with Malcolm X glasses. He's celebrating three years sober. Matt, no one likes a quitter, and you're probably funny or drunk. Furthermore, fuck Jar Jar Binks. Make better life choices. Richard Dweck. You know what? Fuck Jess Alamo. The penguin from the Batman movies is an unfunny hack, right? The beautiful Jacinda. She's the one over there you see shedding in the corner. I've seen less body hair on Armenian cab drivers. She's famously pro-choice. She even does fundraising for Planned Parenthood. If her parents were pro-choice, maybe they had made the right choice and aborted this disappointment. Jacinda, I bet if you ever did let Dan Caprio fuck that jungle you call pussy, he'd come back sounding like tadpole triplet with Vietnam flashbacks. Like, you ever been to the Jacinda jungle? <laughs> Matter of fact, Jacinda, I got you something as well. I know times are tough in the hood, but what I need you to do is take a shower. Not a bath, a shower. And use these, you unsightly hippie. <laughs> It's all right, though. We're here to roast Carl Callen. If Joey Diaz fucked Sue from the Golden Girls, you'd get Carl Callen. You ever squeeze your asshole so tight you ejaculate? No! Get your fucking prostate checked, dude. It's time. I have questions for Uncle Carl. Carl, why do you look like a convict on work release? Are you a fucking janitor? Why do you look like a drug addict with no drugs? How do you look more like a criminal than the black guys on stage? How do you have dad shoes and no kids? Get some fucking cash together. How do you only smoke weed but you look like you're on meth? Seriously, Carl, do you plan on being a piece of shit for your entire career? You sound like a grandmother with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Do you have mesothelioma? 
<laughs> Strange that a guy so completely full of shit would fill himself with the Mexican piss water that is Corona. I'm fooling. Come on a serious note. Do you mind if I fuck your roommate? Or any of the Tom's River 10s you roll in here with? They're Tom's River 10s. They're like LA 6s, but they're 10s in Tom's River. Carl, you're the only comedian I know with a stable of hoes, but there is no way you're a pimp. Your wardrobe is horrendous. You're popping thrift shop tags like a bootleg Macklemore. I could buy your entire wardrobe with the change in my cup holder. You brilliant dumbass. Hey, Carl, let's split 10 Adderall with some Mormons later. With love, Mike, with love, you're probably one of the first people who was legitimately nice to me. You put this thing together out of thin air. You're a true friend of comedy and a friend to us all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gary McLean. Thank you. For